All right, everyone, here we go. Take five. Technical glitch day from hell over here. Let's try again. Let's try a soulmate journey rating. One deck for the DF, one deck for the DM. Why? Well, because I try to do these every week, but also because there's a hell of a lot of incoming energy coming at me. It's crazy. It's scrambling my signals. So let's see where we go. Hell, in the in the energetic weather update I did earlier, I called the Major Arcana cards. I gave them a new name. They're now Major O'Connor from the fucking army or some shit. I don't know. Let's, <laughs> let's see where we go. Let's shuffle the deck for the DF and see what kind of stupid shit will happen in this reading. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or Major O'Connor brought you here, you're here for a reason. All right. Reading is timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline, and there's a whole playlist of these. All right, let's go. DF side. So it's a lot of energy coming in. A lot. Almost too much. I don't even know if it's all soulmates. It's a bit of a, a snowplow of energy. In other words, the snowplow comes down the road. It just picks up everything, right? You get rocks and gravel. You don't just get snow. There's all kinds of shit in there. Half the time, there's a poor little squirrel somewhere buried in there. Let's see what we get here. Let's see where we go for the DF. What do we get on the DF side, universe? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I get this. Strength card is crossing. That's the environmental energy around you. That's, again, the lion, it's, it's the energy of the lion holding one of the roses from the two of cups. But I think the lion's choking on the rose. I think there's a shitload of them in his mouth. Okay, let's see what's, what's going on here. What, what's the base energy? Yeah, the wheel of fortune. It, it's just a sign that something's about to change. Something big. Is, think of the snow plow I just said. Right, the snow plow is coming. You think, oh, how nice they're moving the snow out of the way. No, lots of little animals and little critters and little sticks and little rocks and all kinds of things get caught in those fuckers. All right, it's coming with all it. For you, it's a lovely little snow plow coming your way. For somebody, for some little critter in there, it's terror. Okay, it's hell attached to a truck. At the end of the day here, you've got a lot coming at you. A lot of shit. It's nothing you can't handle. But there's, that's that energy I'm picking up. The, off the Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting an energy of everything's about to change. I'm getting the 10 aspect of it, which is the end and dead end that leads to a new beginning. But it's a big new beginning for you, okay? It is. D is, it, is it all roses and rainbows? No, no, it's not. You might be the little squirrel caught in the damn snowplow. I don't know yet. Let's, um, I'm going to clarify with the little animal deck. I'm going to stick with the same deck theme here. Let's see where we go for you before we get to this side, which is the incoming energy, which should be huge. That said, over here, Wheel of Fortune. The Strength card will come with it. And I'm going to see what's fueling that Strength card in a moment. Just let me shuffle here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? You got two major O'Connor cards here. Okay? That's what we're going to call. Fuck it. I make a mistake, we call things. We, we accidentally called the, the Emperor the Burger King once, and that stuck for fucking three years and some change. Fine. We got two big major O'Connor cards here. All right, that's a big deal. I'm going to tell you what. That's huge, huge energy. Let's see where we go. Let's shuffle the deck here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Strength card. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. I got my shuffle there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What did I say? Rewind. Why am I your second favorite? I have no idea. All right. Re rewind. I said it's all about the ten here. Didn't I say that? It's all about the ten. Ten swords at the bottom. Crossing the center card I pull, which is red with the lion, which is crossing the ten. I mean, it's unreal. Okay. So, see, yes, yeah, something's, something big is going down. What's underneath the lion? Oh, oh. The Ace of Pentacles. It's not a major arcana, but it might as well be, right? Not a major O'Connor either. But it might as well be Ace of Pentacles. I mean, something. what did I just say? Something big. Is, this is a new beginning. It's the most powerful, best, bestest new beginning that there is. And it's right there. It's talking about something big coming at you. A big snow plow of fucking energy. There's more than one rose in that lion's mouth. He's choking on the motherfuckers. Okay, there's so much shit going on. What is happening? What is going on here? What's on top? Oh, a Major Arcana card. Oh, go figure. I'm sorry, Major O'Connor. I apologize. Uh, the uh, chariot. What did I say? It's a stampede. It's coming at you. Oh, it looks like one horse, right? It looks like one horse. There's a little note. You know what energy is attached to this? The oceanic white tip. 
Sharks are something I used to study along with birds of prey when I was a kid. Everybody gives a shit about the great white shark and the mako shark and the hammerhead shark. They love those fucking sharks. Everybody knows them. Nobody, very few anyway, know about the oceanic white tip. The oceanic white tip is the shark that lives in deep water, way out in deep. It's the one that gets you when your ship sinks. It's the one that gets you when your plane crashes in the water. It's the one that, that gets you. Okay, there was a uh, a battleship that was out there uh, in World War II. I forget the name of it. They had and it went down. It got shot down, and there were 900 people in the water. 300 and some change came out. Not, the oceanic white tips came in, and the stories that the sailors used to tell is, oh, you'd see one. It's not a real big shark. It was only like seven or eight feet. You'd see one, and then the next thing you know, like piranha, they'd be all around you. You know, just everywhere, everywhere, as far as you could see, oceanic white tips. They're actually responsible for most of the attacks on humans. Most of it. Uh, well in the range of close to 98% of all attacks or something like oceanic white tip. That being said, okay, and they're not often studied. They're not, people don't find them interesting. I do. I think they're really cool. They got, and their eyes are like cat's eyes. They're different than other sharks, which have dark eyes. Their eyes look, they're like cats. Go study them. They're really cool. Anyway, this is an oceanic white tip energy. You see the one horse there? Nah, nah. Like piranha, there's like a dozen fucking horses coming in there. I'm telling you, there's a lot of energy. Look at the energy that's here. All right, I'm talking about new beginning, ace of pentacles. Takes a long time for this to build up. Think of a volcano erupting, right? It takes a long time for that pressure to build up, but when that sucker goes off, it pops off, doesn't it? Right? Mount St. Helens, remember that back in like 1980? It popped off. Tell you what, where I was living at the time, we had ash. It was falling on the ground, and I was 3,000 miles away from the fucker. That being said, you got a lot coming in. That chariot, it's coming in fast and hot. It's, it's part of the soulmate cycle. It's part of your soulmate journey which is fitting because this card represents the soulmate cycle. This is a soulmate journey reading. How about that? And you learned something about a shark. Most of you, some of you have, but most of you probably never heard of. Mm, how about that? It's a shame. Everybody cares about the great white. Who gives a fuck about the great white? It's fucking boring. Oceanic white tip. That's where it's at, man. That, that's the fucker that's going to, that's the scary shit right there. All right, center card. Red with the strength card crossed by 10 swords. <laughs> Did I ask why am I not your first favorite? I mean, do I say that a lot? I don't know. I'm most, mostly kidding when I say it, but today I think I'm serious. It's the most powerful card I could pull. It's another Major O'Connor. Major, 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 Major fucking O'Connor, right? Paging Major fucking O'Connor. I'm telling you right now, if there is a major in the military watching me right now, this motherfucking reading is definitely for you. But that being said, all right, if you're a captain, I'm sorry, but maybe later, maybe down the road, you t maybe, maybe later. All right, you'll get there. Be cool. Uh, world card crossed by the Ten of Swords means one thing. Tens of the end and dead end to lead to a new beginning. It means a new cycle is happening. All right. One way or another. This reminds me a little of the final message I pulled for you in the damn energetic weather update I just did earlier today. The final last two cards out with the death card crossing the four of wands. You know the way that energy felt to me? It felt like the universe is like had enough. That's it. We're putting an end to a motherfucking cycle and we are all motherfucking moving forward. And it's kind of what it felt like and that's kind of what this is right here. This is the world card. You see how you got something coming in that changes your world. Okay? Puts, definitely puts the old behind you. In other words, it's one of those messages where I would say you wouldn't even recognize your, your, your old life. You won't even remember it, you know, you, with the new energy that you're moving into. It's unreal. Okay. Um, and some of you may have already gotten some signs of this. Some of you may already start to see that some things are changing or you may have instigated some changes that make things feel different. It's about to take off. You're about to start living in that new energy. Whatever it is, you can't stop it. It's all major arcana here. Doesn't matter what this card is. This card is just telling me about, it's, it's informing me about the chariot. Nothing else. If it's not a major arcana, doesn't matter. If it is, still doesn't matter, but it's kind of funny. At the end of the day, it's all fucking major arcana and an ace of pentacles. Okay? That's a big deal. This is a huge thing. It's different for all of you what it is, but it's coming in. And this is very near future. I do not divine that far out. What's red with the chariot? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What did I say if it was a Major O'Connor? Did I say it would be funny? It's funny. It's a Major O'Connor. It's all Major O'Connor. Here. All of it. All of it. 
Oh my God, unreal. Everybody pick up your phone, call a military base and ask for Major O'Connor. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we got to find him or her. It could be a her. I don't know. Um, the magician, everything, a change, transformation, huge. Major Arcana on, the, on a karmic level, on a karmic debt paid off level. Okay? Huge. It's red with the chariot, that stampede, the lovely story, the touching story I told you about the oceanic white tip, where all the sailors, everybody who's ever survived, which is very few, everybody who's ever survived an encounter with an oceanic white tip said, I thought there was just one. They all say the same fucking thing. I thought there was just one. I saw one. It was no big deal. I thought, oh, he went away. Right? Dorsal fin went down. He went away. Okay. Nah. Now that's just a that's just a dumbass scout that they send in just to see if there's anything there. Once he radios back that there's something there, yeah, about 50 of them come riding in. Okay? We got big things here. These what I'm saying is that analogy, these are big changes. Bigger than you think. What's happening here is bigger than you think. And, and the universe trying to make a point to you and show this to you by putting all major O'Connor cards on my fucking table. Okay? And yeah, if you're just tuning in or you're skipping around, I know they're major arcana. It's a joke that carries over from the earlier reading today of the uh, energetic weather update where I slipped and called it major O'Connor. This is probably why I made that slip right here. This is major O'Connor. Major is a fairly high rank. You know, it is. This is a big deal. Major comes to your house for dinner. It's a big deal. All right? All right. Wow. Um, I mean, Ten Swords crossing the world card. I got the world and the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, I don't even, I don't even want to leave this energy because I'm afraid what's going to happen over here. All right. Let's go. Shuffle for the DM side. All Major Arcana. Major O'Connor and, and an Ace of Pentacles. Okay? And I'm telling you, I don't tell you stories. I don't tell you about shit because I want to flex my uh, knowledge. I can tell them about a shark they've never heard of. Ooh, boy. I'm telling you that for a reason. Dig into what I told you. Okay? In other words, these sharks eat everything. Okay? I have told you about a, a battleship that went down. 900 people went in the water. About 300 came out. The sharks feasted. There was nothing left. Okay? There's something. There's nothing left. Of, what, of the old once this energy comes in. It's a major, major game changer. It's a major O'Connor. Okay? Let's shuffle the deck. All, all of them. Every fucking card. Except the Ten of Swords, but the Ten of Swords is huge. You know, that's, that's a big deal. That's fucking There's nothing left of that bison. Look at that. You didn't just put one sword in it. There's ten in there. That's, that's the, the oceanic white tip right there. Oh, it's just one sword. That he thought he was going to be fine. You know? There's something about it. it. Don't take it negatively. We we sometimes there's there could be something from your past that's holding you back a little bit. It gets annihilated in this energy. This is so good. This is the best new beginning there is. And with the energies that came out, it makes it even better. Okay, so whatever it is makes you forget the boo boo. All right, and move forward. It's very nice. And I said it right from the start, right from the moment I, I before I knew anything else that was going to fall on the table. I said it all around that lion. All right. I got a card that flew out of the deck. I got an emperor. Flew on the floor just like that. Crossed by the empress. Look, I, I don't even know what else to say here. I got nothing. I mean, the odds of that happening. The amount of times I've used and shuffled that deck. That deck was at least used for 110 or 100 or so bang readings at the, at the very least back in the early days of Steve's Love Tarot, the quickies. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's the emperor crossing the empress. This is, some, this is a meeting of the minds within an, in, within an energy here. This is divine energies within a, a person on this side that are coming together. I don't think this has anything to do with a long lost runner. I don't think this has anything to do with somebody around you that you have a soul connection with that's holding on the feelings. I don't think it has anything to do with any of that. I could be wrong. For some of you, it might. But I'm just telling you what I feel here. Okay? There's something. It's like you walked into an energy that's absolutely perfectly balanced, and this is how it plays out for you. This is exactly how it would play out if you walked into a perfectly balanced energy and behaved perfectly balanced within it. Just it, it's it's as it's as serendipitous as it, it could possibly get. Okay, 
the fact that you got all Major O'Connor over here with 10s being the focus, 10 here and a 10 here, okay? Uh, and, and this 10 crossing the world and this 10 being a wheel of fortune, uh, the fact that that all happened and then on this side they get the Emperor and the Empress, two key energies. I don't even know. I'm going to clarify, okay? I don't have anything to say other than it doesn't get any better than what's on my table right now. It doesn't. Take a fucking screen grab. You will never see anything better than what's on the table right now. I mean, it's unreal. Okay? Unreal. The world is here. First of all, the world is the most auspicious energy. That means really good. Alright? And it's just, you're moving into a period here. Something happens. There's just something. And it's big. Okay? It's something that's been trying to happen for a while. The energy, this is telling me that the energy is just right for it to happen. I got divine timing here with the world. I got divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune. You get a lot of that. I got divine timing here in a, divine in a divinely balanced energy. So I have something attached to you here that's balanced. All right? And the energy around you is just right to take advantage of it. To pounce on it like a lion. Okay? All right. Give me the emperor. Let's clarify. Tell me why the emperor is here. I'm still shuffling. I've been shuffling the whole time I'm talking. Unreal. Do I even want to know what's underneath that empress? Do I even want to know what's under the best tits in the tarot? I feel like I've got to flop the tip up, the, the tit up a little bit. I mean, I hope you know, I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to see what's under there. Be cool. All right. Here we go. I'll be professional about it. Relax, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let's see what's under the Empress. Oh, the Four of Swords. A ton of fucking heart chakra and healing. And all bets are off void energy. Nature abhors a vacuum. And something's happening here. Something definitely is happening. There's no doubt about it. Okay, here we go. Seven Wands at the bottom over here. Something that's been held back is no longer held back. I get that. I got the same kind of thing out of the uh, uh, strength card and the, and the uh, 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 Ace of Pentacles. Uh, this will be crossing the center card I pull. It's red with the Empress. Okay, what's, what's on top? The High Priestess. Wow. Okay. It's just an energy that comes out of nowhere. It's like a, It's strange. It's a hidden energy. I'm going to need to clarify that separately. What's the center card? The Hangman. A Major O'Connor. Okay. Do you got two Major O'Connor? We, oh, we got all Major O'Connor here. Holy shit. Did, am I just noticing that it's all Major O'Connor over here too? Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Major, 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 Major. Oh my God. From another deck. Okay. You ain't never going to see. I'm not even, I'm not even fucking going there. I'm not even fucking going to go there. Thank God this one isn't. It's the Three of Cups. Um, God. There's just feelings that are welling up in these energies. The energy is just right here. This is uh, the flow of emotion, right? It's the biggest card of communication for me in the Minor Arcana, and it's communication. Somebody here, something is happening that's been held back, and I get that with the Seven of Wands, and I get it with the uh, High Priestess, and I get a whole lot. It, remember, it doesn't matter what this one is. It's all Major O'Connor over here, too. It's just some kind of Dare I say, without it getting hocus pocusy, there's some kind of destiny that's playing out for the DF. And it's playing out because the energy is just right for it to happen over here. The alignment is happening. Just the right amount of healing. Just the right amount of void energy. Just the right amount of heart chakra is there to balance the masculine and feminine energies on this side. And that it instantly brings it over here, which creates what seems like the world's greatest, luckiest break ever on the DF side as one way for me to explain it, even though there's no such thing as luck. It's a perfect flow. How it plays out, it's going to play out differently for all of you. But don't. I'm going to give you a tip. And I'll pull one more row here to relax, but I'm going to give you a tip first before I forget. Don't, don't ever, and this is a reason why, with all this Major O'Connor here, don't ever let, let nostalgia for the past or something like that hold you back. Okay? Don't. And I'm afraid some of you might over here because this is a harsh ending to something. This is quick, right? This is very quick. This is very, very quick. But it, 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 it brings you into a new, new energy like nothing you've ever experienced before. Okay? All right, let's pull the witches, which randomly at the bottom has 10 pentacles. 
another fabulous card. Let's pull three more cards in a crossing card like we always do in these readings and let's see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell us. Okay? I don't know if it wants to talk about you. God, I hope it does. Or if it wants to talk about this side. God, I hope it doesn't. Anyway, I don't control it, so we'll see. Alright, what else you want to tell everyone, universe? Let's go. You will never see. Oh, Major O'Connor. Oh, Major O'Connor. Unreal. This doesn't matter. It wouldn't have mattered one way or another. It just would have been funny if it was Major O'Connor. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What else you want to tell everyone, universe? What, what do you got? Unreal. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just laughing at the bottom card. I'm sorry. Three cards. I don't. I, I think it wants to talk about the DF side. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Page of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. And what's red with the Page of Pentacles? The Ace of Wands. Um, the crossing card at the bottom is the Two of Cups, fueled by the Knight of Pentacles. Um, Either it's kind of an energy, I'm not sure who it's talking about still, it, because it's kind of an energy where when you, when you find out, you learn that, it's sort of like I might say you learn that you were right about something. It's sort of an I told you so energy. It's the universe's way of saying, see, I always have your back. It can apply to either side, okay? Perhaps, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just an I told you so energy, all right? If you, if, if you believe that the universe has your back, things tend to work out. You're going to learn that the universe had your back the whole time or someone else is going to learn that. Okay? Either way, it's a positive energy. Either way, there's a lesson in it with my student here. And either way, it leads to a passionate new beginning that stays lit. I am drawn to the transformation right here. I'm drawn to it. So at the end of the day here, that's what we've got. I mean, I don't, Knight of Pentacles, it's been, it's been held. It's been right there on the edge. I get it because this is the second slowest energy in the tarot and this is the first slowest. This is the slowest. Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. There's been a wall. We've been, it's just, it's everywhere. Three swords going away, five cups going away. Underneath all of that is justice. I mean, at the end of the day here, it's an I told you so energy. Take it how you want to take it, okay? Take it how you want to take it. Maybe you're negative about this. Maybe you look at this reading and go, ah, pfft. you know, whatever. I got to tell you the odds of this much Major Arcana here. I haven't seen anything like this since September 2021's Gemini monthly reading. Okay? September 2021 Gemini monthly reading, still probably my most watched reading on this channel. It'll be in the most popular section on the channel page or some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, but it, it was it was like 15 or something major arcanas landed on the table. It was a standard reading, and they just kept coming out. This is pretty major O'Connor here. All right, it's, pre it's pretty big deal. I told you so. You know what? Let's pull one card and a crossing card from the Rider Waite. All right. What else you want to tell everybody before we go? Anything? I'm gonna pull. I tell you what. I'm gonna pull one additional card on each side from the Rider Waite. Okay? For those of you that are still here. Because people shut off the video. It's amazing to me. You never know what's going to happen. I'm unpredictable. I don't have patterns that I do things in. Okay? I mean, I'm just going to pull one card, one more for each one from the Rider Waite. Give me one card for each, each side, universe. DF, then DM. DF, then DM. Give it to me. Give it to me right now. All right? One card. What do we get? Eight of Wands. You are on the receiving end of communication. This side. Most of you watching are DF here on my channel, 99% of you. The rest are a, well, some of these sneak in, and the rest are enlightened DMs. Either way, if this is yours over here, that's communication. You are going to receive communication, all right? This side over here, <laughs> well, I got the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So again, that Knight of Pentacles is also appears here, the Knight of Pentacles, fueling the Two of Cups. This is the side that's taking action. This is the side that's always known it's going to take action. This side is verification that this side is coming towards this side and it blows up your world when it does, whatever this is. I do not think this is something as, because of all the Major O'Connor, I do not think this is something as silly as your wrong lost runner finally regretting it, turning around and reaching out. This is bigger than that. This is big, 
whatever it is. B I fucking G. All right. I don't mean Tom Hanks is coming at you. All right. I know he was in Big. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm saying this is Big. There's too much Major O'Connor on the fucking table here for it to just be about someone who ran and they're going to reach out or someone who has a crush on you around you at work or so. This is bigger. It moves you forward in a huge way. All right. So you're on the re this side receives it. This side is where it's coming from. All right. At the bottom of the deck, by the way, for everybody involved, four swords, a lot of healing. It brings a lot of healing. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, and it's also a void energy. Nature abhors a vacuum, and it's going to fill that fucker up like crazy. I will tell you right now. It really is. All right. That's your reading. Good luck. I hope this reading was helpful.